What's going on guys? Here at the Bassmaster Classic, right at the G Limits booth. We're here with the Snow Leopard. He's pretty quiet today, but uh, it's day three, day one and two. He's pretty much commanded the lead in this tournament. I'm really rooting for Gussie. I think he's gonna take it home. I really do. Huge fan of G Limus Rod, so I figured I'd start our video out here, take you guys along with this last day. Brennan and I are running around the Bassmaster Classic Expo. And uh, actually after this, we're going right into a Cherokee Bassmaster event for college. So stay tuned with everything. Should be a fun ride. I'll take you along with whatever we do today. Give you guys a little experience of what the expo is all about. What are you thinking, Brooks? It's gonna be in the water. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Everything's been so diluted, I feel like nothing's really stood out to me, but these live target craws, I think this thing's gonna catch them. It's so natural, so lifelike. Um, I'm actually really impressed with this. I usually don't really uh, get very interested in these kind of baits, but uh, me and Brenton just walked in here and they had the ad showing, and man, these things, these are legit. Let's not catch them. Oh, somebody's about to be crowned Bassmaster Classic Champion here very soon. This is gonna be fun. All right, guys, I didn't really get you guys involved with what my thoughts were coming into this tournament. Really rooting for Gussie on this one, but after watching day three Bass Live and following Bass Track, looks like it's gonna be a lot tighter than he wanted. Uh, I don't even know if he got more than two fish today, which is crazy for him to even have a chance at this still. Gussie being up north, smallmouth, I mean, I want him to do the best. They won't let me bring this sub bag in, so I'm gonna get rid of that real quick and then we're gonna get to watching the Bassmaster Classic. Third one for me, we're here in Knoxville, Tennessee. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. It's gonna be awesome. While I make my way to Brennan's truck, I just wanna let you guys in on the reason why I'm here. My buddy Scott Argenbright with Fish Creek Visuals gave me an opportunity to film, help film some video uh, for Carl Jockinson's YouTube channel. So that's what I've been doing all weekend. Today I had a break since Carl didn't make the cut, but I was like, this is Brennan. Hi, hi everybody. Classic has been pretty fun so far, but I gotta watch my end. Oh yeah. I just gotta grab the Outdoor Scholars camera quick and then. It's fine. Good. Dude, this is gonna be a crazy win. Yeah. Because Gussie left the door wide open. And the amazing thing about bass is that it's not one person. It's a dream that started in Ray's head and it passed on to others. We all know the music, we all know the feels. He is a former Bassmaster Open winner. This is fourth the Bassmaster Classic Rolling in style and in profile. even to start the day. He's got two fish here today. They were throwing candies to Canterbury, but uh, that's a whole different kind of candy you got there, man. Hi, Chris. Is that $1,000 a night for big bass? $1,000 a night for big bass? We got us some bear money, guys. Heck yeah. I'll tell you what, I don't hang out with Carl Jacobson too much. I don't know where he's at out here. But uh, I'm gonna have to start because them Aussie boys know how to party. <laughs> Woo! I'm 
might have even drank the beer out of the shoe, I don't really remember. But, uh, sweet. Yeah, that's what they called it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really want to do it. 30 people standing around. I'm going to do anything you want me to, whatever. <laughs> so, we got a whole lot more than 30 standing around right now, my friend. I'm be asking, you do have a drink and you do have shoes. Since day number one, one of these anglers 
is about to become a Bassmaster Classic champion. For the first time, Gussie struggles. Just two fish today. Needs five pounds, four ounces. Six pounds! Oh my God! Truly one of the nicest people in this industry. My biggest worry when you came to the Elite Series is these two nights. So many people to thank. My dad and grandpa took me fishing when I was a little kid, and uh, you know, if no one takes kids fishing, they're never gonna go. So take your kids, your neighbors' kids, your buddies' kids, and uh, and dreams can come true, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know what to say. I, I this is incredible. It's insane. Truly really insane. Where's the trophy? It's right there, but you're going to have to get it from your buddy who you've been traveling with all year long. I'd like to bring out Jason Christie to do the handoff. Champion, how does it feel? Oh, 